Yep, it's me again. On your screen. And you're watching me. <laughs> and on and on we'll go. What's up guys? It's your girl Empress Rosie back with another video. I guess I'm not back with another video. And in today's video, guys, I am going to be responsible for making the Sunday lunch. Today is Sunday, and um, usually growing up in Grenada, Sunday is the day looked forward to by most um, children because they know that their parents are going to prepare them some nice. <sighs> So backstory, if you've grown up in the Caribbean before, you know that Sunday is, is definitely a day to look forward to, a typical Sunday, right? So you'd go to church and then after church, you would be looking forward to a nice Sunday meal with a variety of foods. So today, it's been a while since I've actually had that experience because usually we just don't bother. We just cook whatever, whenever, however. But today, I'm going to bring you guys back, those of you who grew up in the Caribbean, I'm going to bring you back to what a typical Sunday would look like. As you can see here, I already made the salad. And the salad just contains some lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and um, raisins, right? So that's all. I always like to have a little sweet yang to my salad. So that's why I added the raisins. I mean, tomato give you a, a sweet taste, but it's more acidic. So to balance everything out, I just added some raisins, right? I'm just going to put some plastic wrap over the salad and refrigerate it so it doesn't shrivel up and become a watery bowl. In between a rock and a hard place we're baking chicken and we're also making some lasagna so we don't know which one to use i'm saying that we use this one to bake the chicken and this one to make the lasagna because yeah but i'm not sure which one this is the chicken that we have here it's already seasoned and we just have it torn so we can bake it this is the amount of chicken we have i'm not sure if we should use the bigger pie dish or the smaller one, but we'll figure it out. Guys, this is what the chicken looks like. We decided to use the smaller bowl, the smaller um, pie dish, sorry, for the, well, we call it a pie dish. I think it's a, well, whatever you call it, you call it, but we call it a pie dish. So here we're going to call this a pie dish, okay? So we use, a, we use a smaller one for the chicken and we're going to use a bigger one for the lasagna. Now this one here, all I did was just um, let the chicken tar for a bit and I just added some um sliced up onions and peppers right so that's seasoning peppers and onions there those of you who don't like onions that's quite okay because when this cooks you would not taste the onions at all it literally would just shrivel up and you wouldn't really taste it or you wouldn't even feel the texture when you eat it right the next thing is we added a little bit of water you don't really have to add any water to this because um when the chicken cooks it releases water and it pretty much cooks itself and we're going to cover this with some foil so it's going to cook and the steam is going to help to cook the chicken as water is released from the chicken so let's go ahead and cover this up with some foil and um put it in the oven added the chicken to the oven the oven was already preheated so um ensure that you preheat the oven first before you actually pop the chicken in we usually cook the chicken on medium to high heat so yeah use your discretion and you should know your oven that's the thing that you have to do know your oven everybody's oven bakes differently it has different circulations and all of that kind of stuff all the technicalities you have to learn your oven so you would know what's the best temperature to cook your chicken at and all of that right i just usually do medium to high heat but your oven may be different so you may have to do maybe medium to low heat just depends right okay guys so right about now we're just washing the peas as you can see the water in the pipe come really really slow so we usually fill up like mugs to help to speed up this process so this is how i will wash my peas all right I will just stir it a bit just to ensure that any loose particles they float up to the surface I'm not sure if y'all seeing that but right yeah that's how it looks that's like 
peas residue, I guess, peas waste. All right, and I'm going to do this for like about three times and then put the peas to burst so that we can make our rice and peas. Okay, so now we're just going to add some water to the peas. And this peas is not difficult to burst, so I'm not going to add that much water. If it needs more water as it cooks or it bursts, I'm just going to add more water as we go along. So this is the amount of water I'm just going to add for now. Just a little bit more. And I'm also going to add some onions and some peppers. Alright. We usually add garlic sometimes as well, but I don't think we have any more. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to put this on high heat and leave it to burst. And when it does burst, we're going to add the rice, etc. All right? Before we move any further into this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. All right, so what we're doing now is just boiling some water to put the pasta in because we boil our water, put some salt, and then put the pasta to the boiling water. So it cooks better that way for us, right? And if you're confused, it's actually the lasagna pasta that I'm talking about. This is my first time making lasagna, so not sure as to the exact measurements, but we'll just be cooking and tasting and seeing if everything is good. And I think that should be quite fine. We're using two boxes of this and then we're just going to work from there. We're going to make the sauce for the chicken, the big chicken. And these are the ingredients. This is a bowl, right? <laughs> Some brown sugar. As you can see, there's different layers of brown sugar here. It's insane, right? It's so insane. Um, ketchup and barbecue sauce. I usually have others, right? A variety of barbecue sauces that I just mix up and taste and make sure it's to my liking. But this is the only one I think I have. We also need some pepper. Although we don't use a lot of this pepper because we use jerk seasoning and for some reason I don't think the jerk seasoning is as hot as it used to be because I remembered it being really hot but like now I use the same quantity and I'm not getting that same level of heat that I used to get but I'm not sure things change so I don't know. This is the other barbecue sauce I have as you can see it's almost done so it's literally nothing in there. I'm just going to add some water to like take out the remaining in the bottom and mix it up with all the other ingredients here to make the sauce and we need water the last thing we need is some water right you could substitute the water for like um a beer like caribou so or you could actually use wine if you want so you could bake the chicken with wine and don't worry it won't taste like the wine because alcohol evaporates it just gives it flavor right and you don't taste the alcohol Not a lot of ketchup. This should be okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have to add some water to this one to get it to come out because I don't think we'll be able to come out just like that. Some pepper, a little bit of pepper because we're adding the jerk seasoning. This is what the peas looks like still. I think it could take a few more minutes to burst and then we would go from there. This definitely needs some more water. We're gonna add that just now and then get back to you. So this is the consistency of the sauce. I know some of you are probably wondering why is it so watery. The camera is making it look a bit weird and different than it actually is. Uh, I don't know but anyway um, the reason why I make mines like this in a watery kind of texture is because it would eventually all the water as the chicken cooks it would the water would start evaporating leaving leaving you with the sauce but if you go to make it really really thick at first then you're going to end up with like a paste for a sauce which I don't really like so that's why I'm making it this watery so 
all I did was play around with the ingredients, added more of this, more of that, where it fits, and I added some brown sugar to balance out all the acids in the ketchup and the pepper and the barbecue sauce and so forth, right? So we're just washing the rice right now. Um, we have about two and a half cups in here, like literal cups, like actual measuring cups of rice. This is one box. And by the way, there are like 18 pastas in one box. Ooh. Mm. Wow. So this is what the chicken looks like, right? And I'm just gonna add the sauce to it now. So at this point we have the chicken back in the oven i did not cover the chicken again because we want the chicken to start taking some color i'm going to add the rest of the sauce when the chicken is almost cooked right the pasta is on the fire it's boiling um the rice is also cooking now and we have the salad in the fridge the next thing that we're going to start to do as soon as the rice is done is to fry some plantains i love 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 fried plantains it is a caribbean delicacy i know a lot of people love plantains i don't know anyone that doesn't like plantains if you don't like plantains then that means i don't know are you even human <laughs> <laughs> 